I'd like to talk to you about Half Magic. Half Magic is a book by Edward Eager and it is in the vein of Narnia and other children and fantasy world building. This is an excellent book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There was only one problem for ESL speakers and that is in the middle in chapter four the kids travel to the past what happens when you travel to the past is the English language changes drastically let me give you an example gallant knight I crave your assistance in a Dolores tower nearby a dread org is distressing some gentlewomen I am preceptress of the distressed gentlewoman society we need your help naturally said Sir Lancelot he whistled and his trusty horse appeared from behind the apple tree where it had been cropping apples. Sir Lancelot started to mount the horse. The four children looked at each other. They did not like what they had seen of the lady at all, and they liked the way she had spoken to them even less. Catherine stepped forward. I wouldn't go if I were you. It's probably a trap. So as you can hear, the language changes drastically from the way the children talk, which is modern, to the way the other people in this era talk. And it is the whole chapter four is like that. Except for that, my concern is always children will read up to chapter four and then suddenly they can't understand and then they will give up. So saying that, that means you have to have kind of a higher level and even for adult ESL, reading old ancient English is difficult. That's all part of modern culture. So in a sense, there is a reason to try and read it. So if you skim through chapter four and just try to figure it out without stressing too much about it, then I think you can still enjoy this book. If you enjoyed Narnia, you're certainly gonna love this. So give it a try. It's 192 pages. It doesn't feel that long and I just wanted to add that I have since read The Well Wishers and The Time Garden. These are both part of a bigger series. Half Magic is the first one, Knight's Castle, Magic by the Lake, Magic or Night, Seven Day Magic, The Well Wishers, and The Time Garden. So this is a whole series of books where group of children have a magical experience and they're really connected to each other but it's not important if you read one and then skip and then read a different one it's it's fine each story is contained and even the group of children they change this is a British writer and he uses British English there are accents and dialects that are difficult to understand even for natives and you just figure out the general idea and don't worry too much about it. Okay. So a great series. Each book is terrific in its own way. The general stories are similar in the sense that there are some a group of kids and there's a magical element. I would recommend this.